Ezekiel chapter 35. Now we're going to look at Esau, Edom, Mount Seir. And you'll also find this in the book of Obadiah. Now what happened is when Babylon came and thrashed Judah, it's obvious that there were people that ran. And they ran all directions. And what happened is the ones that ran across the Jordan River and came in the area of Edom, Edom captured his brother. I mean, because Jacob and Esau are brothers. They captured the, the Jews. And they turned them over to Babylon. And their cries were, Woohoo! Israel, Judah's going to get it in the neck. And as... All the Middle East would think the land is ours. And this will go back into Genesis chapter 12 when God told Abraham, I will curse them that curse you. And the cursing comes upon Esau. Listen, the Middle East, they're, they're all one family. They're all of Abraham and they're fighting each other. And you got brother hates brother as it goes all the way back to Cain and Abel. It's sad, but it happens. It's a Bible story because it's a real life story. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, that's Esau, and prophesy against it. And say unto it, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee. I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste. Thou shalt be desolate. Thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Because thou hast a perpetual hatred And I believe in the scripture, I think John says that Esau hated Jacob. And God hated Esau. In the womb. Because God already knew what Esau would be like. And they shed the blood of the children of Israel by force of the sword in the time of their calamity. The time of their calamities when Babylon and Chaldeans come in. So not only did they capture them and turn them over, but they're also killing and murdering no matter what who who you are god does not take shedding the blood lightly especially the blood of jews and you'll see this in the tribulation period in the time of their iniquity had an end Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. Whatsoever man saw, that he shall also reap. And blood shall pursue thee. Sith, thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. You're going to get your just desserts. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, three times, and cut off from it him that passes out and him that returneth. Whether you're coming or going to Mount Seir, God's going to get you. There's no running. I will fill his mountains with the slain men in the hills and in the valleys and all thy rivers. They shall fall that are slain with the sword. I will make thee a perpetual desolation. You are perpetual hatred. I'll give you a perpetual desolation. And thy city shall not return. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. That's twice. Because thou hast said, Esau has said, These two nations, Israel and Judah, are these two countries shall be mine. We will possess the land of Israel. Whereas the Lord was there. Everybody wants that land. Therefore as I live, saith the Lord God, 
I will even do according to thy anger. You're going to get what you reap. And according to thy envy, oh, that's a sin, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them, I will make myself known unto them when I have judged thee. So God's going to be proclaim to Israel the strength of God when he calls upon Esau. God is going to tell Israel, and I'm talking about Israel all in general, don't mess with my children. Thou shalt know that I am the Lord again, that I have heard all thy blasphemies, which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying, they are laid desolate. They are given to they are given us to consume. Babylon's come, the Chaldeans have come, God's all finished with the Jew. We'll take the land, thank you very much. We'll eat the grapes, we'll make the wine, we'll have the oil, we'll Thus with your mouth you had boasted against me, pride, and had multiplied your words against me, God. I have heard them. Thus saith the Lord God, when the whole earth rejoices, I will make thee desolate, again desolate. When the whole earth rejoices, that's the millennium. And in the millennium, there will be no Esau and no Edom. That'll be one of the nations conquered and destroyed. Because you know Esau and Edom are not going to be in the sheep nations that are going to help Israel. They're going to help the Antichrist. As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, the land, because it was desolate by Babylon and Chaldeans, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate again and again, O Mount Seir, and all in the media, that's what the Bible calls the land of Esau, in the media, even all of it, all of Esau, and they shall know that I am the Lord. <laughs> Again, that, that shall know. Yes. When you've been defeated by God and you're cast off into hell, oh, gee, God's right. All eternity, you go from hell into the lake of fire. God is right. God is right. When you're walking through New Jerusalem and you have no crowns, the Bible's right. God is right. Too late. Too late. 